All right, welcome. So today's video is about the heart of an empathic old soul. What exactly is an empathic uh, old soul? Well, an old soul is someone who has had hundreds, if not thousands of lifetimes where we've seen everything. We've done almost everything. And usually old souls are those who are highly empathic. We feel deeply. We are highly compassionate. In fact, we've got the compassion thing down. Like I said, we've seen and done it all. And that doesn't mean that we're not going to come back again to this planet for another lifetime if we if we so choose. But as far as the compassion thing, we've got it down. And yet sometimes, especially these days, living in the 21st century, it can feel like our heart is breaking. It can feel like it's opening up. It's cracking again and again. Or we may even take on energy from others, family, friends, and feel totally overloaded. Or, you know, if you're someone who really cares about the environment, which often empathic old souls do, you know, when we see another redwood forest go up in flames, it can it can tear our heart apart. And we we can be really triggered by by social justice issues, by seeing this these racial injustices. And, and so what's an empathic old soul to do? Well, number one, to really honor our exquisite heart energy. A typical heart chakra is about two and a half inches in diameter. For an empathic old soul, it can take up our entire chest and even, you know, move beyond the torso itself. So we have these really huge heart chakras. So first thing is to really honor our heart center, our power center within our heart. I believe that empathy is what the world is evolving to. And us empathic old souls, we're way ahead of the game. We are pioneers when it comes to really uh, feeling our heart energy. The second thing that an empathic old soul can do to not be overwhelmed with all of the energy, with all of the uncertainty, with all the chaos and disruption that is going on these days, which exactly is needed, right? We need things to, to be disrupted. We need the chaos so that the new, the new world that we know will surely come based on compassion, wisdom, justice, joy, and love will actually emerge. So what's the second thing that us empathic old souls can do? We can move into what is called neutral compassion. And when I first heard that term, I thought it was an oxymoron, right? How can one be neutral if we are being compassionate? right? It's, it didn't seem to fit whatsoever. But neutral compassion is that sweet spot within the heart where we are centered right in the very center of our heart center. We're not too far forward, right? Where we're absorbing all this energy, where sometimes it can feel like, right, a tsunami, tsunami of energy that just like washes through us and over us. We're not too far back where we begin to shut down, right? And, and we, we say that we don't want to feel anything. But you know what? As empathic old souls, we still feel it. So moving into neutral compassion is one of the most effective tools that us empathic old souls can do. And the best way to experience neutral compassion is to actually experience it firsthand. And so I'm going to guide you um, through a really short um, routine that combines a little bit of really easy Qigong movement and then a short guided meditation so that you can actually feel what this feels like and why it is so beneficial for us compassionate, empathic old souls. So. 
I'm going to stand up and um, you can do this either sitting or standing. And the first thing that we want to do is I always like to shake a little bit. So just shake any energy that you may have absorbed. Just set your intention and shake it off, shake it off. Let it flow down into the earth to be composted into fresh vital energy. And there's no wrong way to shake, right? You know, maybe you've heard me say that before. Just shake it off. Good, nice. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to uh, clear any energy that we have, may have absorbed in our hearts. And it's really easy to do. So you're just about shoulder width apart and your toes are pointed forward. And this is called wrist cross flow. There's key points right on the inside of your wrist right here in line with your middle finger, right, right about here, that really help to strengthen and support our heart. Okay, so here we go. So we're just gonna take a nice inhale, our wrist cross, we come up to our hearts and it's as if our hands, our palms are like magnets and we release anything that we've absorbed that isn't ours to absorb. So I'm taking a nice inhale, my knees are bent a little and then I stand straighter and release. So we inhale and then exhale. Good, another nice inhale. And we're gonna use the heart healing sound, which is H-A-A-A -A -A as a whisper. So it's ah. inhale. And as we inhale, imagine there are two straws on the soles of your feet, so strong roots that go deep into the earth. And I'm going to invite you to breathe up some grounding, centering earth energy. And we're going to let it flow up through the soles of our feet, our legs, through our torso, and into our hearts. And our hearts, our hands, our palms are like magnets, right? And they just pull out any energy that we've absorbed that we don't need to. So we're just doing a nice little clearing right here and also rejuvenating our hearts by breathing up that grounding, centering earth energy. You've got the movement down. Let yourself just sink right into it. So inhale. Good. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come all the way up, up to the top, and our arms are going to open up, and it's wrist cross right through our center and we come up to the very top our palms open up and here i'm inviting you to imagine that you're opening the portal right on the top of your crown inviting in all this incredibly beautiful energy from the universe to flow in Now feel yourself, feel this energy from above and drawing it up from below, flowing into your being and especially into your heart. So back to your heart. A nice inhale. Once more, all the way up, 
palms open up, opening up that portal, letting that light flow in to meet with the light inside of you. Good, nice. So take a nice breath in and out. Notice how you feel. Good. Good, just breathing in and out. So it's always nice just to do a little clearing, just to, just to check in, right? Our hearts can absorb so much, especially if it's that huge heart, right? That empathic old souls have. So we just did a little bit of clearing here. And we also rejuvenated, we, we pulled up that grounding, centering earth energy into our hearts. Then we also opened up from above to receive this beautiful light from above to meet with the light inside of us. And now what I'm gonna invite you to do is I'm gonna invite you to bring your awareness to that big, beautiful heart center of yours. And I'm going to guide you on a really short little meditation right here. And so what I'm going to invite you to do is take your middle finger because your middle finger corresponds to the heart meridian and you're going to place it right in the very center of your chest. Don't worry if you're if you're not sure if you're in the center, your body knows exactly what to do. And so just take some breaths in and out. Now this point, it's called the Sea of Tranquility. And every one of us, we were born with a Sea of Tranquility. And here's the image for you. So imagine an ocean. And imagine that it's there's a storm and on the, the surface of the ocean, the waves are really turbulent, right? There's a lot of activity on the surface. And that's sometimes what it can feel like, you know, inside of our hearts. We can get really stirred up. Something can really affect us, or we may take on that energy, or we may, you know, witness something that just blows us over and cracks us open. But I want you to know that there within you, there is a sea of tranquility. And this sea of tranquility is really deep within your heart center. So imagine that ocean right on the surface, it's turbulent, but go deep down. And there's a calmness, there's a tranquility. So that's what we're going to access right here. And this has a lot to do with neutral compassion, but first let's experience it. So your finger, your middle finger is right in the center of your chest. And I want you to imagine that you're breathing deep down into that ocean of stillness within you. As you inhale, your belly expands. And as you exhale, it floats gently back toward your spine. And now whether you see it, feel it, hear it, or sense it, or just know it, imagine that you're tapping into this place of deep tranquility within yourself. Remember, you were born with it. So with every breath, you move more deeply into this, this place of peace and tranquility. And know that as you're doing this, that as you imagine it, it automatically happens. That is the power of our imagination. So just notice yourself deep within this sea of tranquility now and just breathing in and out. Now this is the place in yoga that is called Anahata which means unstruck. So feel yourself accessing, accessing this more deeply. And know that when you are here, 
your view of the world is greatly expanded. It's huge. You're also tapping into your spiritual heart, which is the core, the essence of your heart. And when we are within our spiritual heart, we know that things are unfolding exactly as they should. I know that's a big one. Just take some breaths in and out. Realizing that here on this planet on Earth, this is a planet of contrast. It's a planet of duality. It's here where everyone can have a multitude of experiences that they learn and they grow from. So just breathing in and out. And let this peace, this tranquility that you may be tapping into, let it begin to radiate out into every cell in your body and let it radiate out from your body out into your aura, the bubble of energy that surrounds you. Good, now notice, notice that when you're in, when you're accessing your sea of tranquility, you're not too far forward, right? Where all the energy can be absorbed. You're not too far back, right? Where we begin to shut down. You're, you're right in that center, trusting. And really standing in your own light. Good. So take another breath or two. And if you haven't already, you can go ahead and open your eyes. Good, excellent. Good, just breathing in and out, bring that breath all the way down to the soles of your feet. Excellent, all right. So good, so one of the best places, right? Empathic old souls like us who have that compassion thing down is to, is to really move into that center, to really claim that center and live from it. As we do, our, our spiritual heart begins to open more and more and more. And though we live in this world, right? That saying we live in this world, we are not of this world. We know that we are here only to learn and grow and expand our souls, right? Right, all right. Good. So I'd love to hear if you have any questions at all. And thank you so much for, for watching this video. From the light in my heart to the light in yours. Many, many thanks. See you in the next video.